Hello and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And I specifically waited a bit before doing this after hitting the start recording button, because for the last episode, the first 10-ish seconds were corrupted, and I hope that this will mitigate that. I have no clue why. And there the camera pans around us. Uh, just wanted to zoom out while it does, but sadly, it uh, that stops the camera from pinning around us. So I am standing here in front of Clagus Clan in Balmora, because last thing we did was selling our inventory. So here we see that we're now de-inventoried, basically. I'm going to drop off some books at Caius Casadas first, and then I'm going to start the timer for this episode, and again, Exactly, again, uh, frame drops in Balmora. It's weird, I mentioned it last time. Uh, wait, what, what? I'm a sleeper, one, one amongst thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you, Nighty, and you cannot deny her lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is his glory. Who, what, what? Dagoth Ur, what? He's the lord. And father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he awakes, we shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep our land clean of the Enwa. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. As a sixth house? I've, I've heard about that lately. The sixth house, the sleeping house, House Dagoth, the house of Lord Dagoth. The true house, the one house to welcome all true Dunmer and drive the Enwa from our land. Take heed, Outlander. The day of reckoning is at hand. Take what you can and leave our place, for, one, for when Lord Dagoth comes, this will be no place for you. Okay, uh... Say what you want or go away. I guess. Well, um... We see, we are progressing in the main quest, and weird things are starting to happen. There is so this seems like this sixth house is going to... to rise again, and... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm always called an Enwa, I guess this means Outlander, so... so well, um, uh, um, uh, what is it? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm here to do. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit confused right now because I've been. Uh, I've, I've been just annoyed by someone on the street. But uh, yes, I'm here to discuss my orders. Uh, ah, yes, right. I forgot to bring. See, this this completely disturbed me so much that I, I didn't go here for the orders. I did go here to to drop off the books. See, this this completely messed my brain. Uh, what's left of it anyway? So let's just. Dump all these books here. We shall read them at some point in time. I guess I'll also drop these off. I mean, I know how to get to Caius Casades. What's this? The Ghost Free Papers. The Guide to Vivek. That one dropped on the floor. Hospitality Papers. I think I need them. And a letter from Gadain. And I also dropped that one on the floor. Well, it doesn't matter much. Okay, so now we are going to head. This was so weird, it completely, it completely caught me off guard and made me completely disassembled in my head, kind of. It made me completely confused. That was the word I was looking for all the time. I'm so confused, I can't think of the word confused. But now we are just heading to the Mage's Guild and asking the Orc Lady. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around here. Please yeah, I know. Talk. Well, I'm going to talk, but not to you. I'm going to talk to the nice Orc Lady downstairs. And with that, I also started the timer. There she is. Sharn, I have completed the errand for you. Here is the skull that you're looking for. Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. Thank you. Now, as I promised, I'll answer your questions on the Nerevarine cult. Go ahead. 
This Ashlander cult believes the long-dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesied Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for the imperial or temple law. Here, take this copy of my notes on the topic for Kaios. What about the, this Nerevar? Nerevar is the first age hero of the Dunmer people. He, has, he was a great general and leader. He helped form the first council and united the Dunmer houses against foreign invaders aided by the traitors of House Dagoth. That's the house that's supposed to rise again. He triumphed over Morrowind's enemies at Red Mountain, but died in battle. Can you tell me something, about this, something more about this cult? No, I gave you a copy of the notes, so read them. And about this Nerevarine. Okay, it's basically, basically just, just... Um, can you tell me something about the prophecies? Ashlander culture on dream visions and prophecy. Wait, wait a second, we had this disturbing dreams. Unlike the Temple and Western cults, which regard visions and prophecy as primitive superstition. Wise women interpret dreams and visions, pass them on to succeeding generations. The most common version of the Nerevarian prophecy is the stranger. Did you know that Nerevar was known to possess a magical ring named One Clan Under Moon and Star? Nerevar swore his promise to honor ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights on this magical ring. So, I was, I was sent to thwart a false incarnate. Yeah, the temple refers to any demented imposter who claims to be the Nerevarine as the false incarnate. The temple treats such persons as insane, and ordinators pursue and imprison them for their own protection. The temple has reported that the most recent false incarnate, a child girl named Peakstar, has died, but there produced no body, and skeptics are superstitious of temple claims. Who's this Peakstar? It's the most recent case of, the, of a person claiming to be the Nerevarine. After a long period of searching, unsuccessfully for her, the ordinators recently reported that she is dead. That may be true, but I haven't heard that the temple has offered any convincing proof. So, have you something to say about the errand? Uh, well, you, you completed it, and I'm quite satisfied. Well, let me check again the spells. I'm, I'm, I'm going to check these spells thousands of times. I am looking for, no, I'm looking for a restore um, ability spell. I see you have great understanding. Welcome. Well, you have taught me great things. Uh, let's see, we have these cult notes. The Nerevarine cult. This Ashletter religious cult follows prophecies of Nereva reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes, to re-establish the traditions of the prophet Veloth, to cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, and to drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders, despite imperial and temple repression. Because it is persecuted, it remains a secret cult, and it's hard to judge how widespread it is along the Ashlanders, or whether it has any following outside of the Ashlander tribes. The Ashlanders firmly believe that Nerevar will be returned to restore the glories of ancient Resdane. Morrowind was called Resdane before the imperial occupation. The Ashlanders say the great houses and the temple have abandoned the pure teachings of the prophet Viloth, forsaking ancestor worship for the false gods of the tribunal and embracing the comforts of civilization that corrupted the high elves. The temple, on the other hand, venerates Saint Nevervar, but rejects the disgusting notion that the false incarnate will walk the earth like a ghoul. The temple honors Saint Nerevar as the greatest Dummer general, first counselor, and a companion of Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil, who united the Dummer houses to destroy the evil Dwemer, the treacherous House Dagoth, and the western allies at Ren Mountain. But the Ashlanders say Nerevar promised to honor the ancient spirits and the tribal law, and that he will come again to honor that promise. To the Ashlanders, this means destroying the false temple and driving the imperial invaders from the land. Dream visions and prophecies are a respected tradition in Ashlander culture. Their wise women and shamans take careful note of dreams and visions and pass on the tribe's legacies of vision and prophecy to their successors. 
By contrast, the temple and the Western faiths are suspicions of mysticism and they regard interpretation of dreams and visions as primitive superstition. The most common version of the Nerevarim prophecy is the stranger. The verses are obscure, as are most prophecies, but two observations are in order. First, many less well-informed scholars assume that the phrase journeyed far neath moon and star is just a cliché to suggest a very long journey. But the Nerevar of legend was known to possess a magical ring named One Clan Under Moon and Star, upon which Nerevar is supposed to have sworn his promise to honor ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights. Second, the reference to seven curses must certainly refer to the lost prophetic verses known to the Ashlanders as the seven curses. So here's the prophecy. When earth is sundered and skies choked black and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth here comes a stranger, journeyed far neath moon and star. Though stark born to, to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak but all deny. Many trials make manifest, the stranger's fate the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall but one remains. Ashlander elders complain of prophecies which have been lost to tribal memory due to the carelessness or ineptitude of earlier generations of wise women and Ashkans. Suspicious scholars wonder whether these prophecies might have been deliberately forgotten or suppressed. Three Nerevarine prophecies in particular are said to have been lost. First, the lost prophecies. Second, the seven curses. And third, seven visions of seven trials of the Incarnate. Perhaps these lost prophecies will someday be found either in forgotten accounts written by literal travelers or in the memories of isolated Ashlanders or in the secret traditions of the wise women and shamans. Interesting here is that, um, earth, uh, that it says sleepers serve the seven curses and the person that we have um, met that has talked to us called himself a sleeper. So it, it, I say it could be even though I know the main story of the game already, but I'm, I'm, I'm acting as if I don't. So it, it could be that this, we will be witnessing this prophecy. So I'm bringing this back to Caius Casadas, fetching the next quest. But then I, I don't want to rush the remain quest. I want to check on my stronghold, and I want to um, also check. We have twenty five roughly 25,000 gold now, I want to check if I can buy some glass armor. Which is super expensive, could be like 100,000 gold, I hope not. But that's what I want to do. Well met, so now, Chaos, I have done my orders. And these are Sharn's note on the Narrow Reem cult. Excellent! I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice, Nighty. I'd like some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you, so if you'd like to get in for a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. But whenever you're ready, I'll have new orders for you. Well, what does the Blade's Apprentice mean? Yeah, I'm promoting you to Apprentice rank, effectively, immediately. And here's a little present, two spell scrolls. The Divine Intervention will recall to you to the nearest Imperial Shrine, and the MCV Intervention will recall you to the nearest Temple. They come in handy for a quick getaway. Uh, no, no, Nighty. No thanks needed. You're doing great work. Now, get out of here and let me read. Well... I'm going to do just that, and I'm going to go to my quest thing, and I'm going to add another quest. I'm going to say the quest asking Caius Casadas for requests is now no longer inactive. So let's check this. So one thing that I want to do... Um, let us see, check stronghold, this is what I want to do. And also, do I have the glass armor visible or is it hidden for you? It is visible. So I'm going to mark all of these because I want one of these. And actually, let's do that first. I know that in Ghost Gate there is a merchant who's supposed to sell these. And in order for us to quickly get back home, I'm going to mark near the exit of the town. 
So we can always recall right into Uber Mora to the Suits Rider port and then teleport over. Oh, not the Suits Rider port. Actually, we want to we want to mark somewhere around here because we would use what? the guild guide. There we go. We would use the guild guide to get back. Let me drink something. To Sad with Mora. No. Sad with Mora? Yes, Sad with Mora. That's a, I, I'm always unsure if I'm mixing up Sad with Mora and Sad I need to get back there and um, many distractions in my head right now. Let me remove one of them. New blocked nose. And check on the stronghold progress. Because I do want to have me a house. So this is this is a long hike. I mean, actually, I did not prepare any a list of topics to talk about. So I'm currently thinking about ah, and there one thing comes to mind. So beginning this year, um, so I'm actually recording this begin of February because I will be on vacation shortly-ish. Um, I shall talk about, talk about this also, but um, beginning of this year, we had a um, photovoltaic system installed and it got activated. So now I'm, well, not, not constantly, for example, not right now. Is that right? Yeah, here's Aldrun. This should be Ghost Gate. Yeah, okay. Would have been more intelligent to actually teleport to Aldrun and then Go to go skate. Well, doesn't matter much. So, I'm constantly checking how much power are we using, how much power are we generating. Today, for example, when I'm looking up over there, there's a window, um, and I see there's no sun. It's actually raining, and we're. I, I'm surprised that we're still generating energy. Actually, okay, that was. An easy way to show me that there are enemies nearby um, is, is the fighting music starting. Okay, there we go. One thing that I could actually do is, let me check, uh, I guess the marksman skill is also just here in, in, in skills, yes. It's very low, but I could go and have a bow and arrow so I can um, easily kill enemies that are that are far away, or at least trigger them to come closer. Because it's super annoying, for example, with these uh, um, with these annoying birds, or more like annoying dinosaur-like enemies. Um, Cliff Racers is the name. Because sometimes they are they, they stay too high and you can't touch them, so touch attacks don't work. And the range attacks, the fireballs, they actually um, use way more magicka, way more power. Yeah. And then we could just use an, an arrow and shoot at them. But on the other hand, only hitting them would actually mean I could have caught a blight disease here. I want to try killing that one on the floor. I know that he paralyzes me. That's his attack, basically. See, now now I'm too far away. I need to get him to fly lower because his attack range is with, with the tail is a bit higher than my than um, how high I can have my arms. There he is. Because this is ingredients. See, he quickly, for, for a real short time, he actually did paralyze me. But since he died in, while doing so, there is the next one. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. So having a ranged weapon with these would be very helpful. 
but nonetheless. Do I know what these ruins are? No, I don't. Well, not on the map. I mean, we've been here, so... So I need to go a bit, so he needs to come closer, he needs, and then he flies down. I could call this a glitch in the game, but it could actually be on purpose. Because it doesn't, it's, it's not too nonsensical to have an enemy that's hard to defeat with uh, close combat, actually. So, um, I wouldn't be surprised if this will actually was on purpose. People make lots of fun about the many glitches of this game, but I, I think actually this might not be a glitch. He's spitting at me. There we go. The Quano Forager. Let's see, I can rest until healed. While casting a spell. See, the reason why I'm doing this now and didn't do this before is because they actually were at least to my according to my memory they weren't that easy to defeat so this one is um, immune there we go immune to fire because it does fire damage so I'm just going to use the sword which um, absorbs health Okay, that's a big sound. I think I saw a fire thing in there. I don't want to go there and defeat the demons. And there's a storm. Come closer. There we go, that's close enough, thank you. Oh. Yeah, there, there is the fire demon. Fire Atronach. Which I guess should be um, susceptible to frost. So that one poisoned me or something like that? No, I've contracted a disease, ataxia, which drains strength and agility. But I can cure at least common diseases uh, and also blight diseases. So there we go. Not much of a problem here. Let's real quick have a little rest. That's a long journey. Because we're resting a lot. I'm curious if I can defeat can't attack it because it's too far away again, else I would have seen the name um, while I hover over it. So this is something that I, well, I could use the fireball. I'm curious what the loot is and if I can defeat it. So let me... Is the absorb health? It's on touch, okay. This is, drain blood is also on touch, it's of course very nice because it drains health and magicka. It costs 60 magicka and drains 5 points for 30 seconds, which is 150 points, which actually is not that bad. So let's try our fireball. Yeah, that one, that one is strong and it also shot something, which since it was green makes me think, so that's Netch Leather. Fortify attributes, okay. Uh, makes me think that it is um, poison damage. Also, it's easy to find the way now because the storm always comes from Red Mountain. So, let's just walk against the wind and you will go to you will go to Red Mountain. I 
And I'm sorry, I did forget to fetch a glass. I actually don't want to advertise to any company here. There goes the paralysis again. So I'm not calling them by name. But yep. To me, this is a mango lemonade. And if I had a decent mango lemonade, which basically means here I'm, I'm, I'm actually naming a company um, without wanting to advertise for them, basically. Uh, if I had Rubicon, I would be drinking that. Rubicon sparking mango, but it's hard to get that here. So if there's any replacement, I know that there is um, sugar-free Panta mango, which I don't like that much, because um, if, if, if I have enough of it, I can taste the aspartame. That was me just recharging my health. Now I'm going to fry this rat. I guess this one is diseased again. I think, don't think you can see that. I know it was blighted. I don't think you can see that if you look at the rat. You only see it if you point at it and see this message appear. Okay, we're getting closer to Ghost Gate, which is good. So I'm sorry, this is a full-on episode trip just to get the glass armor. I should have teleported to Aldrum. But on the other hand, I, I was able to talk to you about the PV system on our roof, and next episode I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to tell you about my uh, vacation, which by the time this episode aired, airs will actually be over. But I don't want to come home from vacation and have to um, record episodes. So I'm going to pre-record until mid-April. Or maybe even end of April, depending on, on how much I want to play. But now we're at Ghost Gate, now I can just get inside. I have no clue on which side that armor is armored guy is, but there is one person selling armor here. And so here's the temple. That's not where the guy is. Could be that the temple is only on this side and then the other side is the other stuff, but I think the temple is in between the two towers. And yes, I want to go into the tavern. So there is a buoyant, is that the pronunciation? Buoyant armager? Faction members only. Some kind of guild or something? Okay. I need to check. I forgot who it was, but I know that there is someone actually selling and buying. I think those points are going to be. Nope. You see, you, I've heard good things about you. Someone is selling glass armor, and that's what I want to have. Could be in the other tower. I'm sure it's not in the temple, but I'm going to check it anyway. Oh, there's even a downstairs. A lower level. Let's see the lower level. Oh, there's someone who sells training. He does not like me lots. What now? Services in Ghostgate. He has some books. What Outlander? More training. Also not very interesting. I suppose you're looking for a tavern. I'm sure I can't help you. Ooh, yes, this is what we're looking for. Sadly, we cannot wear the boots. So we can actually um, strike the boots of our list as as if I had bought them. Also, we can't buy a helmet. Can't wear helmets since we're beast race. But we can wear the Curus, which is 20 
8,000, and if I buy, want to buy it, it is 24, 8 something. So if I now go ahead and... You know what, I'm going to try for a permanent disposition change. No, that does not work because we don't have anything to sell. Okay, so we already have the bracers. Well, these are Eurasian glass, so they are um, weaker. As you can see, this has ammo rating 93, this has ammo rating 33. It only weighs half, yes, but it, doesn't, it gives less than half ammo rating. So what I'm going to do real quick, can you close this window, please? Thank this you. This be important. I'm just going to boost my charisma. That was not enough. And now he likes me even more. Not, not by a lot, but he likes me even more. And now the Curious should be, yes, less expensive. There you go. So the left pauldron is also what we would need, which is 9,000. We're not using shields. So basically, I'd only go for the... If there was a glass short sword, that would be neat. Um, I'm only going for the Curious, which means I can drop this one, which weighs more, three points more, and has a way less armor rating. So yes, I'm definitely going to do this. This is why I have that much money. And now our armor rating is 55, and I can sell the Kaitian Cures. If that's actually how you pronounce it, 9,600. I could sell them something super expensive because they have lots of money. But sadly, I don't have something super expensive. So we have the... Let's go to the to-do list. We have this one. We already have the right pauldron. So I can tick this off the list. We need the left one. And we need the bracers. And also the greaves. So this is correct. We don't have the money. So what I'm going to do now, I know that the left pauldron is with Dronos Lervu. So I can just create a new entry here, which is save. How much was it? I'm going to save the full amount, even though I can get it cheaper. Nine, six gold. And then I'm by the last left pauldron from Adronos Vergu in Ghost Gate. And now, as you can see, both are visible at the same time because I need to tell the software that the first one I entered is prerequisite for the second one. You go now it vanished and the save up 9600 gold is visible instead and i also have the pauldron it's, it's it's kind of sad that i ca cannot wear the boots but yeah that's it is how it is right well that's basically what we're going to do and i need to Disable these, and of course we are currently saving up the gold, and I'm not going to ask Kai's Kisadas for quests. I'm going to check on the stronghold. That's what I'm going to do. Cancel. Goodbye. And now we can just uh, recall. Fail to recall multiple times. There we go. And I would say we just have a little nap in bed to celebrate our latest acquisition. With your attention, Outlander. Yeah, so don't I look good? I mean, yes, uh, I need the wizard's robe, that is. So I would, I'd look way better if I had uh, if I had a full set of glass armor on, I know. So let's have a nice little... Nap. 
in bed. I can tell. There we go. That was refreshing. You seem quite intriguing. Please share your thoughts. My thought is actually to end this episode here and to then next episode head over to Sedrith Mora and check progress and there she was away. Well, then I'm just going to tell you to check on the progress of our stronghold. So this will be what we're doing next week. For now, I can just ask you to wait for a week. So bye bye.